By popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. We have noticed that many of our new Fabs and Besties could use a hand in finding some of our favorite videos. So we have put together several videos from over the years around a Fabsome theme. And today's theme is the movies. From the theater to the popcorn, we've got you covered. So to our longtime Fabs and Besties, we hope you enjoy a trip down memory lane. And to our new besties, we hope you enjoy my Froggy Stuff Classics. I am going to make a popcorn machine for a doll using cardstock, duct tape, a plastic bottle top, clear tape, glue, and clear plastic from packaging. Using the same ideas from the hamster cage tutorial, I cut a long piece of plastic. I began folding the plastic to make a box. I trace the bottom and top onto a piece of cardstock. I use a ruler to draw tabs for the sides. After all my sides have been drawn, I add a rectangle to one of the sides of the bottom. I sketch quarter circles out to the sides and then put a little tab on the ends. I cut them out. I fold on the lines drawn for the top, make small cuts at the corner lines, apply glue, fold the sides in and push the top up to make a lid. On the bottom, I cut the rounded tabs then continue just as before. I fold the rounded side tabs in. I cover it in a layer of tape and trim off the excess to the top and bottom. Mark the height on my plastic box, cut it out. I close the plastic box using duct tape. I cover a bottle cap. I take a piece of duct tape, lay another piece in the middle, cut two thin strips, I tape the strips to the sides of the bottle cap. I tape the other ends to the lid. With the remaining duct tape, I cut a circle for the lid, fold over a small piece of duct tape, trim off the excess. I tape one end of the black duct tape on the inside of the lid and the other side to the bottom of the cap. Tape on the lid. I place the plastic box into the bottom. You may choose to use small bits of clear tape to secure the bottom. Place on the lid. An empty popcorn machine is no fun, so let's make some popcorn. I'm using water, a yellow marker, and toilet paper. I tear off small bits of toilet paper, dip it in the water, squeeze off the excess, dab it with a yellow marker and allow them to dry. To save time, I made a couple large ones and glued the small ones to it. Once everything's dry, I fill the machine with the popcorn. I'm removing the top from this old tube of toothpaste to use for a bucket of popcorn. You can adjust the size for any size doll. And you're done. Happy crafting! We thought it would be fun to make a movie clapboard using a printable that can be downloaded from our blog. Some of the leftover packaging, and if you do not have packaging, you can use a cereal box as a substitute. Q-tips, a hole punch, and glue. I start by cutting out the desired size clapboard from the printable. I glue the pieces onto the box, cut them out, glue one of the long cutouts to the top, then use a pair of scissors to carefully poke a hole in the top tab and the other long cutout. Cut a small piece of a Q-tip, push it through the hole, then slide the other piece on top. Use a hole punch to punch holes out of the leftover box to glue on the ends of the Q-tip to make a working hinge. 
or I can glue them into place and I'll just make two, one that's open and one that's closed so I can switch them out for a little stop motion effect. And for one more quick craft, trace a circle onto a piece of cardstock, cut it out, cut it in half, and cut it in half again, trim off the center point, then curl the paper to make a cone. Use glue to secure it, fold and glue a piece of cardstock, cut a thin strip, bend the ends, then glue the ends onto the cone to make a bullhorn. And then I chose to cover it in a layer of Mod Podge, just to give it a nice finish and smooth out some of the wrinkles. make a bag of popcorn using some scrapbooking paper, a yellow marker, tape, cotton balls, and some cardboard from the cereal box. On the piece of cardboard, I start to sketch out the side view of a box of popcorn. Then I draw a square that has the same sides as this bottom line here. Cut them out and place them on the wrong side of some scrapbooking paper. Begin tracing around your shape. Then move it to the side, line up the edges, and trace it again. Repeat this until you have four sides. Place the square under one of the bottom sides and trace around it. Cut it out. Fold on the lines drawn. Tape up the side, and then the bottom and now it's time to make the popcorn. Dampen your fingers with a little bit of water and then pull off pieces of a cotton ball. And then just twirl them around in your hand until they make little balls. Then repeat this process uh, about a million times. For a great time saver, just make a couple to go on top and then fill the bottom with regular cotton balls. Lightly color some of your popcorn with a yellow marker. Put them all inside and you're done. Happy crafty! I am going to make a cash register for a doll using cardstock, a ruler and a pencil, pictures from newspaper ads, and glue. I start by drawing a rectangle onto a piece of cardstock. I allow the lines to extend at the corners so I can make the sides of my tray. And I make one of the sides a little longer than the others. I make tabs out to the sides, cut it out, Make cuts for the tabs, fold on the lines drawn, fold the long side down, then glue the tabs to complete the tray. I cut a long strip of cardstock that can fit inside my tray. I fold it back and forth to make little creases. I apply glue inside the creases, then push them back together. Put glue in the bottom of my tray, then set the paper with the creases inside. I mark and measure, add a tab for the back, cut out a piece of cardstock. I use my tray to mark the width for the sides, fold on the lines drawn, I glue and trim the cardstock to make a sleeve. I cut some buttons out of a newspaper or magazine. I glue it to the top. I cut out another picture. Glue it to a strip of cardstock a little bit away from the edge. I fold over the end, then fold it again. Then I fold the other side in, allowing there to be a little bit of space between the two folds. 
glue down the sides. I fold another piece of cardstock a couple of times, glue it closed, glue it inside the cardstock with the picture, and when gluing it down, I made sure I stopped my glue a little bit before the edge so that I could slide a card between the two folds. I bend the end, glue it to the top of my box, fold more cardstock, and use pictures from the newspaper to make a customer screen. I take another strip of cardstock and begin folding it in from both sides until they meet at the center. Now I allow it to uncurl just enough to make like a triangle. I use glue to hold it in place, glue on small pieces of paper to cover the sides. I can slide in a small piece of paper to be a receipt. Glue it on top of the box, fill the cash drawer with dollhouse money, and you're done. Happy crafting! The drawer can open and close. I can remove the receipt and there's a card reader on the side. Movies and crafting? Well, this is going to be totes amazing! I'm quite certain I look fabulous in this movie. Oh wow, love. I'm so excited to see this. I can't believe we are going to watch the actual movie! Shh, it's about to start. In honor of Monster High's new movie, Fright's Camera Action, we are going to make a movie experience for a doll using a cardboard box, plastic bottle caps, flameless tea candles, popsicle sticks, craft paint, pillow fluff, felt, printables from our blog, mini clothespins, empty spools of thread, craft foam, straws, paperboard, toothbrush covers, buttons, trim, scrapbook paper, and glue. I start by building our basic box room. By cutting the tabs off of one side, turn it on its side, cut out the top, reinforce all the sides with another layer of cardboard, cover it with paper. I'm choosing to use a white paper around the top and edges, cover the inside with scrapbook paper. We chose to use two types of paper for the walls. We cut thin strips for trim, add another layer to give it dimension. We used a velvet scrapbook paper on the floor Glue a bottle cap into the corner. Glue together strips of metallic scrapbook paper. Glue the paper onto the bottle cap. Add multiple layers to make wall sconces. Add a flameless tea candle for a working light. Stack and glue popsicle sticks together until they are wider than the doll. Make three. Cut a few popsicle sticks before gluing to make one that is shorter. Glue the short one between two long ones. Then glue the third at an angle on the back. Paint the areas that will be visible. Fold over a piece of felt and measure it to the size of the chair. Cut, open it, then fold one side in, apply glue, and then lay the other side over it. To make tubes, one for each part of the chair. Glue the ends closed. Glue two of them around the arms. For the back of the chair, I lightly stuff one end of the tube with pillow fluff. Glue the stuffed end into the corner of the seat. Make a thinner tube with the fluff in the middle. Wrap it around the larger tube, glue it in the back, then pull the back down and glue underneath. Cut the last tube in half, glue the ends, glue on the seat, use leftover cut popsicle sticks and felt, then glue underneath to complete the chairs. Fold, felt, cut, and fold accordion style. Glue them on the walls for curtains. Cut out our printable TV screen and printable movie poster, where we just added a little scrapbook paper and trim to complete our screening room. Cover two sides of the outside of the box with our printable scrapbook paper 
Paint clothes pins, glue them onto the box, take an empty spool of thread, cut a square of craft foam, cut a square out of the corners, glue the foam onto the spool, glue an acrylic jewel in the center, glue it next to the clothes pin for lights. Take one of our printable backdrops, glue it onto paperboard to keep it flat, hang them from the clothes pins, glue lights onto straws, glue straws onto the bottom to make a freestanding light. Glue an empty spool onto a toothbrush cover, glue on buttons, glue straws to the bottom to make a tripod, paint it to make a camera. On the other side of the box, we glue on our step and repeat printable. Framed it with black paper on both sides, glue felt or black velvet scrapbook paper onto paperboard, glue trim on the sides to make a fabsome black carpet. We can even lay the black carpet down the middle of our screening room for a walkway. So now we have four areas where we can play. On this brick wall, we can set up our favorite play sets, a movie set, a black carpet for the premiere, and a screening room for the dolls to watch the feature film, Frights Camera Action. And you're done. Happy crafting! for joining us and we hope you enjoyed this movie experience comment down below what mashup you want to see next bye Here is the thing I